in the road maybe Sean McNeil mm. lefty on lefty here's Culver working on Santos mm. Silva and Derek Culver connects good feed to a cutting Culver they are establishing mm. the big man early McBride going to work off the window, and West Virginia hasn't missed a shot. Opened up so, more, but so much more, like you said. Jalen Bridges is a guy who's taken advantage of that time as McNeil fires and hits a three. And one of the major reasons why this Texas Tech team is ranked number seven in America as McNeil rises and fires again. You have to keep him in front. Other versions of transfers. But he's making it work. Gates made their first five shots, but they've gone cold since. A lot of contact, no whistle. Culver plays through it, and he's up to nine points. Four for the Red Raiders after they turn it over, and we've got a one-point game here in Lubbock. Mm. Pull on free throw line jumper and a good-looking one by Jordan McCabe. McNeil, open look again. Mm. Sean McNeil is feeling it. He's five of five from the field been really active McNeil goes to the basket and again McNeil converts Chris he's six for six with 15 points nice good clutch. backdoor cut and the basket by Deuce McBride well again it speaks to the depth and talent on this West Virginia team that they've been over to able to overcome mm. a couple of McBride mm. fires a three and he connects. McBride gives it up. Here's a three for Bridges and it goes Ooh. down. Down to two on the shot clock. McNeil fires and hits. Oh. Look at Culver fight for position down low. They find him in an opportunity for a three point play. Fittingly, Sean McNeil is going to dribble out the clock in what's been a career night for him. And how about the road victory for West Virginia coming to Lubbock and knocking off the number seven team in America, 82-71.